Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, I thought today I would take you guys around B&M with me. I haven't properly been in and had a look around for quite a while now. I did go in a couple of weeks ago, I think, and I did see a couple of new things, but I didn't have like a proper rummage at the time. So I thought I would go in today and in particular, look at all the kind of like new homeware stuff and see what they have to offer. So here are all the bits that I saw in store. First up, I had a quick look around the dog section. There wasn't a lot there, but I did see these kind of cream, really nice natural looking bowls, which I thought were really cute. Five pounds each, but they were a little bit too big for my dogs. I then headed into the kind of cleaning section. Generally speaking, they always have so many really good options of kind of like cleaning sponges, cloths, things like that. I have something very similar to this where it's like a pack with different cloths for different purposes, which are really, really good. One thing I always check out as well are their laundry hampers. So this bamboo laundry hamper was only 12 pounds and it honestly looked really good quality. They also had loads of these really nice laundry baskets. These bigger ones were five pounds. And I desperately need to get myself one of these one day. This is a folding laundry basket for £10. So you can store it away really, really easily. And then next to it were these like really nice big kind of flexible ones as well. So if you want a laundry basket, you're going to hide in a cupboard or something. These were great for £6. I spotted these hand soaps. I thought they were a bargain at £1.49. And I also thought the packaging was amazing. They had black mint and a pink as well i then headed over into the bathroom section they had these really sweet little storage baskets for six pounds the black ones are definitely a bit of me and they also had these really cute little baskets as well which were half price two pounds each but they're great just to put little kind of hair accessories things like that in I always show you this section um, at B&M because they have such a great variety. I have this bath mat, it's really good quality for six pounds, but they have so many different choices of like color, finishes. These ones looked super fluffy and soft. They were reduced to six pounds. And I also spotted these, which I thought were really cool because they look more like a rug than an actual bath mat and have a kind of boho style to them. So the pink one was reduced to five pounds. They had the black and white one for eight. And I also spotted these ornaments, which I hadn't seen before. The get naked ones for five pounds, as well as some more kind of cute baskets and stuff. I then headed into the lighting section. First thing I saw were these lampshades. I actually thought the kind of brass ones looked really, really expensive. They were only 14 pounds each, but they felt really good quality. I also had them in a light gray and they were a decent size as well. They had a lot of brass stuff in. So I saw these are kind of similar to the lamps I have in my bedroom, this kind of industrial metal style lamp. They were 15 pounds. Um, but they also had more kind of traditional versions like these little ones for eight pounds were kind of like a modern traditional style but they also had a much more traditional style like these ones for 10 pounds which i thought were actually really nice but not quite my style i spotted these and thought they were perfect you guys know i do not iron i hate ironing i don't see the point in ironing bed sheets so i always keep an eye open for options where you don't have to iron them these waffle ones are perfect so they had them in this beautiful natural color this kind of sea green color and also a darker emerald green color and a royal blue 20 pounds for a king bedding set i thought was an absolute steal and i also saw this really sweet jute rug for 20 pounds which would be perfect as a kind of like little coffee table rug
They also had that same bedding in the white as well. So quite a few different colors to choose from. Something I always show you guys whenever I go to B&M as well is this section. It's all there, just like simple plain dye bedding from Silent Night. And they have so many different colors to choose from. It's insane. And they're all super, super affordable. I was very tempted by these. These are 100% cotton fitted sheets and like the pillowcases were only five pounds for a pair and it was 11 pounds for a king fitted sheet, which again is an absolute bargain. Onto the cushions. I haven't seen these before. I thought these were really, really sweet. I love this kind of boho textured vibe. These were 10 pounds each and they're 48 centimeters large. So they had them in this kind of light gray color and they also had them in a kind of burnt pinky terracotta color as well. These ones caught my eye. I love the kind of neutral vibe with the tassels, 100% cotton, 10 pounds each. They're a really good size and they felt really good quality. This um, boho style rug here is actually really, really similar to the one I have in my lounge. It was 40 pounds. It was a little bit too small for what I would want it for, um, but they, I love the black and white one. And they also had just like a plain white one next to it, which I also thought was really, really sweet. I thought these bigger sizes would be great for an office and they also did um, really small sizes which would be great for like an entryway or something like that. Onto the plant section, again they have so many different styles to choose from. I thought these mini terracotta ones were so adorable, only £3. But the plants actually look really realistic. I love this one as well because it looks like a dragon egg. And I love like the wooden stand, five pounds. I just, you can't go wrong with that. A marble one, again, not so much my style, but still super affordable. And I saw these as well. These were a little bit bigger, 10 pounds, which I still think is an absolute bargain because they look so much more expensive than they actually are. If you have a more kind of traditional style, I saw these again, these were quite big actually. They were 10 pounds and they were this really nice kind of gray washed pot. Another clearance item was this candle holder for four pounds. I thought this would look amazing in the middle of a dining table. As per usual, they had a great selection of wax melt burners. This is the one that I have, it's only three pounds and you would never guess it's from B&M. I also have one of their re-diffusers which again, it, you would never guess it's from B&M. They're actually quite good quality for super affordable prices. This is the one I have, this kind of terrazzo white one, but I thought this one to the left of it was really, really nice as well. This is a new item I haven't seen before from the Boho Desert collection. It's these um, really sweet little rope baskets. They're only eight pounds. I think they're about 30 centimeters big. So not huge, but really, really great for storage. And these ones are really similar to one that I have from Dunelm. They're only 15 pounds each, but they're actually quite big. One thing I want to do is go through all my cupboards and like properly organize them. They have these Mrs. Hinch style um, kind of cleaning caddies. Not so much my kind of vibe. I just kind of gravitate towards like these kind of dark gray ones. But this big one was only four pounds. The whole range kind of starts from one pound. So you can pick up some super affordable storage. I have one similar to this here. This was only seven pounds, but mine's a little bit of like a slimline one. I was shocked when I saw this. I thought this looked such good quality. They have these gold rimmed mirrors. The smaller one is 14 pounds and the larger one is 35, but this was honestly huge. Into the garden section as well, they had some really sweet stuff. I saw these little planters, they're three pounds each. They had them in like the pink, they had some mint green ones, which were really, really sweet. I also spotted these galvanized drinks buckets. I thought these were so cute, absolutely bargain for 10 pounds. And obviously we can have people over for drinks in the garden and stuff. So I thought those would be a great buy. And they had these matching kind of French style tall planters for eight pounds as well. I was so tempted to get some of this kind of outdoor glassware. So this is from the Desert Palms collection, 
four wine glasses for five pounds. They also had loads of different styles of kind of like pint glasses, things like that. I really wanted these, £1.50 each for these pint glasses. They're plastic, but they only had two of them and I would have wanted probably like six. But they also have more kind of like bamboo plasticky style stuff as well. They have loads of cups, plates, serving dishes. Again, I was so shocked when I saw these. These tall planters are only £15. I think these look so modern and expensive, and I couldn't believe they were that cheap. I then popped into the DIY section. I thought these were a great buy, actually. 10 brushes for £10. They look super good quality, but it's much cheaper than getting your brushes from, like, B&Q. I've seen these so much on Instagram and never actually seen them in person. So I wanted to see what the quality was like. And I was actually pleasantly surprised. I wish they had the, the natural wood one because I would have bought them, but they only had the kind of black and natural cane one. This is an example of the natural one up here. But they had some great kind of little furniture bits. I thought this was super affordable as well. Very kind of like mid-century modern, 15 pounds for a little side table. And I thought these were super unique as well. So it's a pair of nesting tables. They have the gold and the black. It was £50 for the set, which I thought was a little bit pricey for B&M, but you do get two different size tables. So you can obviously have them as a pair or have them separately, but I thought they looked really cool. So there were definitely some good kind of new bits in there. I feel like the last few times I've been, it's been a little bit samey, but this time I did feel like there were quite a few new bits. They also had some kind of like staple items in there that I always see. I did pick up some bits. I mainly got foodie and kind of practical bits, but I did get some home stuff as well. So I'll show you that now. So first really boring purchase is this. These are, I know it's exciting. These are the fairy dishwasher tablets. The reason I went for these is because the last couple of times I've got the finished ones and they're all individually wrapped, which really, really irritates me. And I don't think these are individually wrapped. No, they're not, which is perfect. So you can just chuck them straight in, which is partly just easier to do. It's really annoying taking the little wrappers off of them, but also it just seems like excess packaging. I don't understand why they individually wrap the kind of dishwasher tablets. It just seems really bizarre to me. Um, so yeah, I got these ones, fairy all in one. I've actually never ever tried these and they are the scent orange. They smell really good actually. I don't think they smell like orange, but they do smell really good. So these were £6.49 and you get 60 tabs in there. So the finished ones were a little bit cheaper, but they don't smell that nice. They're individually wrapped. I thought I'd try something new. I also grabbed a big box of Belvita. The, what are they called? Milk and cereal ones are the ones I'm absolutely obsessed with. So you get 12 of the individual packs in here and they are £2.99. Um, so I picked up a big box of those. I also grabbed some of these. Um, they're like the fiber, what are they called? Fiber one bars. Um, but these ones are called fiber 89 so they're a dupe of the fiber one bars i normally get the kind of little ones but i forgot to get some this week so i thought i would just grab some of these these are one pound per box and you get four in each box i just quite like having little kind of lower cow chocolatey snacks you guys know i have a sweet tooth i also picked up these i really resent that they put the word skinny on boxes like this i find it really cringy um the skinny cookie co mini choc chip cookies so each serving is 98 calories there are five bags in the box again i just like having a little little sweet something something um just to yeah curb my cravings so these were one pound a box as well i just got one because i wanted to try them out because i've never actually seen them in there before another brand that has skinny in the title i hate it um this is the skinny syrup company skinny food company and I've tried loads of their syrups before. They had like a garlic and herb sauce that I tried that I really liked. Their barbecue sauce I've tried and really liked. 
I, ha I got a coffee creamer, which was just okay. But generally speaking, I've actually really enjoyed some of their sauces. I don't think I've tried this one before. It's just the chocolate flavor kind of syrup. So it's zero calories, fat free, no added sugar, blah, blah, blah. You guys get the idea. $1.99 for this it's 425 mil i'm definitely making my way through and trying loads of the different flavors i also grabbed this so this is from the same brand the skinny food co um, and this is the skinny duo bar high protein low sugar bar in the flavor chocolate brownie that is a bit of me and i think it was one pound 50 129 so yeah not that bad actually um they had quite a few different flavors as well i think they had like a cookie dough one and like a chocolate caramel one as well but yeah just a straight up brownie kind of chocolate flavors generally speaking are the ones that i kind of gravitate towards this purchase is really unlike me i'm not really a huge like fizzy drink kind of person but i saw this near the checkout we've got some friends coming over this weekend I just thought it'd be kind of like a, I don't know, a bit different for the weekend. Steve absolutely loves Fanta. He normally goes for the lemon one. But I saw this. I don't even know what, like, is this a flavour? What is the flavour? I don't know. It really reminds me of in America when they have the um, Gatorade. Blue Gatorade in America. So, so good. Um, but anyway, this is zero sugar. Um, yeah, I just grabbed it. I thought we'll try it out, see what it's like. So this is two liters for 169. I also grabbed myself uh, a massive tray of um, low calorie tonic water. So I like gin G and T's. Steve's just kind of started having gin and tonics and he's um, dipped into my tonic stash. So I thought I would stock up and get some more. These are the Brit Vic indian tonic water low calorie i quite like i know it's not the best for like packaging but I, d I just tend to have like one at the weekend i don't drink when i drink i just sort of have one i don't have loads so me getting bottles of stuff is just completely pointless because it just goes flat so i do tend to buy smaller kind of little cans of them so you get 24 i think yeah 24 each of the cans is 150 milliliters and it was four pounds for the whole pack normally i just get like the little glass bottles from um lidl but i thought since i saw these i think these were on offer i can't remember i thought i would just grab them right last item before i move on to the home stuff i grabbed one of these this is the dove nourishing body care visible glow self tan lotion so it's a gradual tan yes yeah, subtle gradual self tanners i got the medium dark um yeah i just feel like my skin's been really dry recently um i normally just use like a dark kind of a medium dark mousse tanner um but i just feel like i need to kind of top it up more regularly but moisturize my skin at the same time so i thought i would try this one it's actually cruelty free and it was 249 it's 250 milliliters and um, they had a few different ones they had like the palmer's body like cocoa butter one as well but yeah this one was the cheapest out of all of them so we'll see it doesn't smell of anything which i think is a good sign oh and also it's a hundred percent recycled bottle so that's really cool as well okay i've just got a couple of little home bits so first up i look at these every time i go in store they are the silent night super soft bed linen collection the choice of colors is honestly so so good um i need to check that these ones actually match or not i think they kind of the color of my headboard's really awkward it's like a kind of warm gray so i think these are going to be a perfect match but i'm not entirely sure i need to go hold them up um, but they're super affordable. Um, so I got a king fitted sheet for $6.99 and standard pillowcase pair for $2.99. That is crazy cheap. They did have one open, like a packet open in store. And I did have like a little feel of it and they felt like pretty good. I always feel like they never feel good like until you wash them anyway. They have a kind of cottony feel to them. They're not the thickest. I mean, you can kind of like see through it a little bit. They're not super thick, but they feel quite like 
cottony um so i'm gonna have to like wash these and see how i get on with them because i always find like when you get stuff straight out of the pack it always feels a bit like stiff and not very nice anyway so i thought these were an absolute bargain but watch this space i'll update you guys what they're actually like okay so next up i got myself a another thing of soap so in like by all of the sinks in our house most of them I have reusable soap dispensers. So I just have matte black soap dispensers and I have like refills. Um, I buy like big hand soap refills off of Amazon because it's like less packaging and stuff. Um, but I saw this, the, there's a couple of bathrooms we don't have soap dispensers and in our kitchen, the one that we have there is looking a bit grubby. So I thought I would grab this because I actually just love the packaging on this. Um, I did show you guys when I was walking around. They're from Russell and Windsor London Perfumers. Ooh, and they had like a pink and a kind of minty green one. But you guys know my style. Um, the black is just, it's a vibe for me. So I think I might actually put this by the kitchen sink. And this is actually sandalwood and amber, which is like so my kind of vibe. That kind of like musky amber scent is just so a bit of me. I couldn't actually smell this in store, so. Oh, that's really nice actually. It's not really, really strong, but it's very, very nice. Um, so I thought I could just reuse this actual bottle. So when I use it all up, I can just fill it up with my refillable thingy thingy majigs um so this was 500 milliliters and it's one pound 49 so that's really really cheap even if you buy like a carex hand wash in an ugly bottle i'm pretty sure you pay more than that so these were absolute bargains okay so next up guys this item's quite big this isn't even for me it's for my sister oh hi milo <laughs> <laughs> it's this um really big rattan mirror this is from the boho desert collection so when i popped in a couple of weeks ago i actually saw this and i sent a photo to my sister because i know that she was looking for something similar to this and i said to her like if i was ever going back i'll keep an eye open and get it for her so they had i think they only had like four in store today so i grabbed one that it is 20 pounds so the actual diameter of this is, that is Milo by the way, it looks like a little doorstop. Um, the diameter of the kind of wickery bit is 60 centimeters. The actual mirror is only 30 centimeters. So it's not the most practical mirror, but it looks super cute. I'm trying to like show it to you without getting like the camera in and stuff. How cute is that? some of them looked a little bit ropey so i kind of had a fish through all of them and made sure i got one that looked really good but i honestly think this is a kind of thing that once it's up on the wall you would never guess it's from bnm 20 quid they also had some massive like um thin metal frame mirrors in gold in there there was an absolute huge one and i think it was 40 pounds but for a mirror that big i was like whoa gold's not really my vibe but i was like i could make that a black mirror i could do that but i hope you guys have enjoyed this video if you have please don't forget to give it a thumbs up because it really supports my channel and if you haven't already subscribed don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you never miss an upcoming video and until next time i will see you guys later